What's up guys and welcome back to another Photoshop sports design tutorial. Today's episode is going to be a match date design where I'll take you through how I made this really cool poster. Uh, that is actually a part of my match date social pack for Brighton & Hove Albion. Uh, and you can actually purchase this pack at my Etsy store. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, and these are fully editable templates that you guys can have uh, and customize to your own liking for your sports teams or anything like that. Um, so I'll leave that in the description below. Um, but without further ado, let's get started with this video. So I've cut, cut out my uh, Matoma subject and now I'm just moving on to the background of the piece. So I wanted to uh, kind of keep a, a consistent kind of identity to this uh, match day design and obviously with the pack as well so I went down uh, using the whipped paper effect uh, and yeah this is as you can see in the other if you decide to um, purchase the other packs um, this is a consistent um, theme in the designs uh, but yeah so we've got this nice kind of whipped paper effect uh, to uh, kickstart this match day poster uh, and now I'm just kind of getting the position of Matoma and I wanted to have him in the center uh, as yeah, he's going to be the kind of the, the the sole and main figure of this match day design. Uh, so then we move into camel or filter, one of my favourite um, parts, where we just play around with the highlights and texture, and yeah, just the effects to really make the uh, the player stand out a little bit more and a bit more look like it's part of the edit rather than just a photo. Uh, so now I'm just uh, going to put in the usual match day text, and. Um, uh, as you can see, I've gone with this kind of classic approach, but in the end, I actually decided I wanted to go with a bit more kind of modern uh, kind of block text. Uh, I did like the kind of classic classic um, typography here, but I thought this bad rock text just uh, made it stand out a little bit more. So we ended up with uh, yeah, with the bad rock text as the uh, as the uh, as the main thing. So now I've just gone and created a new layer and gone to fill and then I've attached that. Um, oh sorry, no I'm not. I've gone to a new layer, fill with a 50% grey and I've gone to camera filter and put um, grain on. Apologies for that, um, I'm one step to your head. Uh, and now I'm going to fill, uh, doing the same process with the, the uh, grey background and then I'm clipping that to Matoma and overlaying him. And then I'm going to a burn tool and I'm literally just going to rub uh, over the shadows and just really yeah, kind of uh, bring out the shadows a little bit more and then did the same with the dodge tool with the highlights the exact same process and then I used a color look up uh, just to add a bit more saturation to the player so now I've just created an exposure layer and brought that down and I've distorted the uh, the soft brush into a kind of a squished rugby ball as you may say and I've used 20% uh, flow just to really kind of paint in some nice realistic shadows below uh, Mitoma. And here I was just taking my time with this as I really, really want to try and make it look as realistic and clean as possible. Uh, and here I've just used another exposure layer um, just to add a bit of shadows underneath uh, Mitoma's leg and, and obviously right boot, just to bring that realism a little bit more to the piece. So now on to the logos. Obviously it's a match day post, so we need to have the logos of the teams that are playing. So we start with the Brighton Hove Albion logo, and then uh, I'm going to get the Aston Villa one, as this is, uh, hypothetically speaking, they're playing Aston Villa here. This isn't based off an actual game. Um, and yeah, just done the same thing there, just with a colour overlay, just to yeah, keep them blue and match the, uh, the blue background of the match day design so far. And then we're going to move on to the, uh, the text on the other side, um, where I'll have the, um, the Amex Stadium, obviously the location where the game is going to be played, and just um, some other details here, such as the time as well. And for this text, I've used a nice made Tommy typography. Uh, I, I really like this typography. It's just very kind of professional, uh, and it's, yeah, kind of like a sans serif kind of type um, but yeah, I use this for a lot of my posters uh, as I think it's quite a nice difference to obviously have the bad rock um, text as the uh, the match day and then for the more professional text, which is obviously the details you have in, yeah, kind of a bit more professional, professional typography. So normally on my match day posts, I put a, um, 
the date on it, but for this one I actually haven't. Uh, I just use this nice little divider here just to separate the text. So just a little, little, little addition I thought looked quite, quite nice. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, normally I would put a date in it, but for, yeah, in this instance I've just done the stadium and the time. And here I'm just adding to kind of the details now, just little details of the matchday poster, uh, just some kind of shapes to, yeah, just bring a bit more personality to the piece. Right, so I've duplicated Matoma, and then on the bottom one, I've flipped it 180 degrees and inverted it, uh, and now I've just yeah literally distorted this by holding Command, uh, and then using the cursor tool just to drag the uh, the, the sorry the the, yeah, the layer and distort it, uh, and that again is holding Command and using the cursor tool uh, for on the edge of the uh, of the selection just to drag it and put it into the position that you want. And then I've just reduced the opacity of this, uh, and I'm going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur, just to add this kind of realistic shadow of it obviously going away into the distance. And here I'm just experimenting again with a few kind of yeah, extra bits, but. Then I just get the uh, the mask and use a nice soft brush just to fade out the end of the, uh, the shadow. And the final touches, I'm adding just a, a rectangle up there. And then a photo of the Amex Stadium that uh, I wasn't going to, I was going to leave it kind of that blue background but then I thought this looked kind of really nice so I just clipped the photo to the uh, the rectangle at the bottom and then I've done a blend of lighten just to kind of yeah have it merged into the background in that kind of blue kind of yeah. And there we have it guys, here's my final match day design poster on my Brighton Hove Albion match day pack. If you guys would like to purchase the pack no pressure at all but it's in the link uh, in my description uh, at the moment and it'll take you to the etsy store where you can get the pack fully customizable templates and uh, yeah you can use it for your social medias and yeah how you desire so yeah if you guys want to do it hit that link but until next time guys i hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for many more coming your way that is game changer design